Hi, everyone, and welcome to a very special live event with the cast of Hallmark Channel's Ride. I'm Brianne Heldman from People Magazine, and I'm so excited to welcome the amazing love triangle from Ride. We have Bo Murchoff, who plays Cash McMurray. We have Tiara Scobie, who plays Missy McMurray. And we have Tyler Jacob Moore, who plays Gus Booker. Welcome, guys. Hello. <laughs> Whoa. I'm, I'm going to encourage everyone watching on Facebook and maybe any of the comments that can guess what's actually behind Tyler and we'll, we'll make him show it towards the end because it is, there's a special Easter egg there, guys, and you're going to appreciate it. Uh, first of all, congratulations, everyone, on the first four episodes. What has been one of the best reactions you've gotten from fans as they've been watching? And Tiara, you go first. Um, I think, you know, all the reactions that I've read, you know, on social and everything has been amazing. Um, I've had, I've been very lucky to be able to watch the episodes with my loved ones, which has been really fun to be able to see their reactions to everything that's happening, which is always very exciting. And how about you, Tyler? What's what's one of the best things someone said to you about it? Uh, well, the best things are that they they're Team Gus. So, <laughs> I mean, that's the best thing that I've heard personally. I might be a little biased. <laughs> You just follow your your mom just follows you, right? That's the only person. I listen. You? Every time I say, people say, just assume it's my mother. Then yes, fine. <laughs> I don't care if I'm being outed live like this. But yeah, that's right. That's the only person. That that to the other. And yeah, uh, yeah, and she's Team Gus, and she loves it. She loves the show. And actually, a lot of people online uh, and, and like friends and family have texted and called and, and been really supportive, really, really like it, and and are deeply into the characters and like are trying to get secrets out. And my friends are texting, telling me, you know, what's it going to take to find out who Valeria is and what's going on and you know uh, what happened there with Austin and all that stuff. So it's kind of funny uh, to me, to, you know, like uh, I mean, I, yeah, I read the script, but I'm obviously not going to tell you. <laughs> uh you know it's you know there's all the obvious great stuff about you know this family drama and this all this stuff but this one <laughs> this one um person uh thinks that uh uh gus is more attractive than cash and it's um this one, uh, again it's tyler's mom <laughs> <You're awesome>. <laughs> <laughs> listen I can't have multiple different fan <laughs> accounts. I can't <laughs> one just to troll you, Bo. Definitely not Tyler's mom. Dot org. Uh, <laughs> definitely not Tyler's mother. Dot biz. Yeah. Uh, no, but I, I think people are really enjoying the. You know, this it's got the ranch aesthetic and this family drama, and there's a little bit for everyone. It's um, the response has been overwhelmingly positive. Awesome. Well, I, before we, I do want to dive into some of the stuff from episode four, but first I want to go back to episode three and the gala, because Bo, you had that really big monologue. What was that like to film? Um, you know, it was, it was late at night. Uh, everyone was a little tired. I was a little nervous for that scene, which actually really helped, but it was, it was fun. We actually got to knock over a tray of, of hors d'oeuvres or, or drinks. Um, and I got to tell everyone off, which was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Tiara and Tyler, what was it like kind of being there watching him as he had, I mean, how many, you probably had to do that full speech many times. I, I, go ahead. Uh, I don't, I, I don't think I remember you doing it that many times. Cause I think it was late at night and we were like a bit rushed against the clock, but yeah. So every every take that he did was different and better, and so it was very interesting. Like it was it was fun to be a part of and watch because he didn't really know what was going to happen. Yeah, we actually had all the time in the world. He was just so good that he got it like two three <laughs> takes, and everybody applauded after. It was a whole thing. Is uh, we couldn't get his head out of the door. It was okay, but uh, <laughs> yeah, only he, only because of you. The the real love triangle here is not. I'm not really a part of it. It's these That's right. 
That's right. That's right. <laughs> I, I thought it was great. And just just between, oh yeah, that's the uh, the third point on the triangle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought it was I just watching it because I, I you know in that scene I'm not you know I'm just watching I'm just watching him do it so I was just there watching him do it and it was great it was I mean it was really I think we hadn't had a lot of scenes together uh, and they were sort of short and brief so that was my first chance to sort of see Bo Flex's uh, acting chops. And it was it was moving. It was great. I was like, oh, okay, I get it. I get it. Okay. Okay. Checks. So for all of you in Tira, you'll go first. Uh, what is harder, doing a big monologue or those dancing scenes? Depends on your dance partner. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you have a choice. <laughs> if it's uh if it's if it's Bo, it's the dance scenes are pretty easy. If it's Tyler and two left feet, it's a little <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, uh, uh, so if we're just, we're keeping track, we're keeping track. I got the dance moves and the monologue over Tyler. So, I mean, if we're just dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> um, dance moves. 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 Um, I, I agree 100%. I agree 100%. The, the two step, especially, is because we're also, we don't know these dance moves and we have to pretend like we're natural. We've been this our entire lives. So it's hard to convey information while trying to think of what your feet are doing. Yeah, or counting steps in your head. Yeah. I, one, two, right. So I had, okay, how far are you? Nobody's going to do that. But we also got a lot of great backstory on Missy that we didn't know. We didn't know about her pageant past and her tricky relationship with her mom. Tiara, what, when you read all of that, did you know that was all coming? How much of, of that backstory did you know? And how was filming some of that? Yeah. I mean, every time I got a script, it was giving us more and more information of what was coming. Um, I think it was definitely a very interesting thing to be able to explore that relationship with Missy and her mom and kind of figure out like where, where how she ended up at the ranch, why she chose trick riding as opposed to pageantry, all, all those kind of dynamics that led her to be where she is now. Um, and the woman who plays my mom, I'd actually worked with on another show before, so I was very excited to work with her again. It's awesome. Uh, she's, she's um, so yeah, it was, it was definitely fun to be able to explore that because, you know, as an actor, it also helps you be able to dive into why you are the way you are and to be able to portray that kind of thing. How do you think that relationship she has with her mom affects her relationship or built her relationship with Isabel? Yeah, it's a completely, you know, it's a completely different dynamic and it's, you know, it's hard because sometimes family and chosen family to be the same, that can be really hard for people to accept. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think, you know, there's a different level of trust and honesty with Isabel that he maybe didn't have with her mom because her mom never really accepted who she really was and wanted to be. Cool. Well, how does it feel to you to really be kind of showing people what it's like to be a woman on a ranch and that women have this big role on ranches as well? I think it's great. Um, it's, you know, it's an amazing opportunity to be able to showcase how hard working, you know, everybody is on a ranch, but to be a woman in that field, literally, um, being able to showcase that is, is, is really cool. And I think it's not something that you see very often. And so I'm, you know, I'm honored to be a part of that work. Very cool. So, Bo, what, what do you think it is about Missy that Cash is most attracted to? Yeah, Bo. <laughs> um, you know it's a it's a it's a big pie. You know, there's there's uh, the personality, there's the looks, there's the skill, there's the pizzazz, and then there's <laughs> there's the uh, the gestalt as well. You know, all the parts are larger than the whole. Bada bing. The pizzazz uh, and the gestalt. Wow. Tyler, you're up. What is it about Missy that it feels the best? 
I don't. I mean, what? <laughs> Top that. I, just, <laughs> I think it's an Ubra. It's or <laughs> water beef. Don't forget the water beef. <laughs> right. uh, oh, jeez, I don't know. I'll try to give an honest answer. Right, I'll try to give a legitimate answer as best I can. <laughs> Please compare Missy to food. Hi. Yeah, yeah. She's like uh, risotto. Uh, no, I. <laughs> I think I think I think Gus I think Gus is smitten with with Missy because he see he saw her when she was a writer he saw her when she was doing the thing that she's great at and so it's a I think it's an interesting dynamic because I think the you know Cash's character as far as I can tell like has known her for forever and you know maybe has been a little smitten or into her from day one when his you know brother first met her or whatever you know like I you know so I think for Gus it's a Meeting, seeing her, who she is as an adult, or you know how, how she is in her her thing, the thing that she does, not necessarily Austin's wife. Um, and so I I I think that's a neat dynamic um, for the characters to sort of play, and, and you know for Gus to be for Missy to see you know meet somebody who uh, you know is into her for that you know, which I think maybe she doesn't doesn't see all the time. With the family, or whatever they you know, they love her for all sorts of other reasons, but just not that you know her individual uh, success. Well, I, how much? What, what part of the Missy pie does that make up for you, Tyler? Is that what quadrant is that? <laughs> I can see your wheels turning up the whole time he was giving that answer that you were going to say something cheeky <laughs> at the end of it, and I was really hoping you were going to just try and give a new uh, answer. But never it's so hard. It's so hard, Brian. It's so hard. <laughs> well, I also, like I'm going to commend you. I thought that answer was great. Thank you. Thank um, you. and Thank I, you. I, I like. I think you make a really good point. I think part of what's interesting, maybe for Missy, uh, and and Tiara, you can answer this. Uh, what's appealing about Gus is that Gus sees her as Missy and not the former wife of Austin. Yeah, it's a you know, it's a, it's a fresh start. It's a clean slate to be, you know, whatever this new version of herself that she's, you know, trying to discover. She doesn't have to you know, what makes things so complicated with Cash is that he's so deeply involved in the grief and every part of her life before. And with Gus, it's a completely new chance to be someone new to step out to not to not have to be surrounded by, you know, who she was before and that me that is still so deeply embedded in that family. But that's going to be a bit of an inner conflict for Missy. Are we going to see her in episode five spending a bit more time with these fine young, fine young gents? I mean, <laughs> who knows? I do. I, I do. You do. You know? Yeah, I got, Actually, yeah. we all know. I, I got a <laughs> Tell you, we just, you wanna... yeah. <laughs> so, was that a rhetorical question? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, Gus and Cash don't really get along so far. They, they, they're not great vibes between them. Tier, what do you think that that Cash is missing when he looks at Gus? <laughs> no. Don't say his baby blue. <laughs> I was trying to relate it back to pie somehow. Oh. <laughs> get there in time. Um, uh, I think you know he's he he like we said. There's you know Cash and Missy are very deeply intertwined, and Gus comes in as a threat to that. Um, and there's always been a bit of a threat to that, you know, with Austin. And and all these things and so having Gus come in is 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 a is a threat to their relationship and their you know future and where that could go. The other thing that I don't think he sees is that you know Gus like we just said could provide that opportunity for Missy to find something new and actually you know be happy but he's just blinded by you know that he's coming after friends and all these things and not seeing that he actually maybe is a good person. Bo, what do you think? Uh, what do you think that Missy is missing about Gus? Like, what what is 
really at the core of his irritation. We can skip this one. We don't need to. <laughs> I mean, it's a long Missy. show. We got places to go. We can just skip. We They're know. never going to put us all together in an interview ever again. We have <laughs> ruined this for ourselves after this. <laughs> I have a feeling Missy these Facebook, these Facebook comments are loving this and cracking up and want more. I'm sure of it. <laughs> no, no. Carry on. Carry on. Sorry. I don't know. I was just going to say, Missy... <laughs> I was going to make more pie references as well, but... Um, yeah, this is what I mean. Something to do with, with this crust and has to get into the Juicy Center, but um, <laughs> no, I think Missy... I think Cash believes Gus... Um, has ill intentions, and uh, he's kind of charming his way into the ranch, trying to make friends with anyone. Um, get on the good graces of the resident widow, and do his his dealings. Um, moreover, Cash, you know, is uh, protective of Missy, and doesn't want some tall, strapping, not so young man. Um. Moving in on his turf, you know. <laughs> all right, all right. So, <laughs> Tyler, who's got it right about Gus? Like, is Gus's intentions all good, or is there a little bit of he uh, wants to buy the ranch? Yeah, I think. I mean, I, you know, if uh, as an actor, you can't play morals or ethics or whatever. You have to just be the character. So, I, you know, even if even if Gus had you know, some sort of villainous intent, I, I wouldn't know it um, because I genuinely, you know, I think uh, I just, I just have his perspective, you know, and, and his perspective is that, you know, yeah, he, he loves this small town community and the ranching life and, you know, horses and, and a quiet, more simpler life. And he loves uh, getting away from his family and the ambition and the drive and the, you know, uh, financial success equals success. And he sees something in this family that, you know, contentment is success and loving each other and having a supportive, uh, you know, family unit is more, he, you know, he sees the value in that uh, more than his surroundings and his family ever did. So I think he genuinely wants to be a part of this, uh, you know, community. Um, I think I'll, I'll be curious to see, you know, how he, uh, manifest that, you know, like how that turns out. Because yeah, I mean, he probably he could mess it up. He could, you know, maybe not do that in the best way because he doesn't know how. And maybe he's been has a bad example and has you know sort of learned bad habits from his family. So you know, yeah, I'll be curious to see if he, you know, I think his intentions are legitimate, but <clears throat> you know, sometimes the best of intentions. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Well. I it looks like maybe this triangle is going to become a bit of a square because Cash and Valeria were flirting a lot this episode. Uh, Bo, do you want to talk a little bit about what's going on there? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Cash isn't... Uh... Well, I don't know. Cash is a single guy. Missy seems to be into Gus. Cash is lonely. Uh, Valeria is a, a beautiful, smart um, woman now who he didn't, she was, you know, they didn't really have a romantic relationship growing up. She's, she's um, a little bit younger than him, but now she's all growing up and um, they share a lot in common. And, um, you know, when you put all those elements together, all stuff right. can happen. All right. Well, there was, there was a little bit of a little pickup line moment that I found very amusing. So for for Tierra and Tyler, on a scale of one to I would be okay seeing you again, which is also a line from that episode. Uh what do we all think of Cash's I like to laugh. I like to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That was the best phone <laughs> That was a fantastic impression. That was a fantastic impression. It's like he's just dogging me. This. <laughs> <laughs> after oh, all of my answers, after all my answers, oh, it's, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. Did that work for you? 
I want to go back and say I think they're I think they're wildly charming. Uh, I you know because when you're shooting it, you don't get to see some of your other you know coworker scenes. So I you know I'm watching a lot of this stuff like a fan. And when I saw their uh, Bo and Sarah's dance off. I, I was completely, you know, I thought it was so charming and so fun. And I was like, yeah, I, I, I love them on the screen together. So it's like, I, you know, who knows? But I just as a fan, I'm like, yeah, they're they're wildly charming uh, on screen together. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I, I'm, unfortunately, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> She's all of in for herself. Uh, I feel like in the last couple of weeks, we've gotten a little bit of a of a vocabulary lesson in life at the ranch. So I'm going to do a little quiz. Um, I'm going to start it early, uh, or start it easy rather. Um, so I'm going to throw this one to Bo. Uh, what is a foal? A foal is a baby, I almost said deer, horse. <laughs> that is right. And it can also be used as a verb which I did not know. I knew what a foal was now, but verb it is the, to birth a foal yep. noun. You could say uh, she's foaling. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep, that happens in this episode. <laughs> Tyler. It's going to be a question about oil. What is a <laughs> <laughs> What is a farrier? Uh, I believe it is a, uh, a, a thing that carries people over a river. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Help, Wait, him um, out. Help him out here. Think, okay, no, hold on. Too. It's a mythical creature with wings, diminished stature, that sprinkles a dust. Barrier. I'm I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell James Tupper you said that. Please do. Funny. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> Tara, help him out. What is James Tupper's job on this show? Uh he specializes in who oh, I should know this. Horseshoes. Like yes. the way that they are on a horse's foot. Yeah, hoof care. Yeah. I have never, I've never heard care? that word before. Yeah. I pay a farrier. I pay a farrier $175 every six weeks, so I'm I'm very much aware of a farrier. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but meanwhile, how was working with James Tupper? It was great to see him. I think I, I think I uh, it's it, it's fun to see um, Isabel's character sort of maybe have because I thought in the first episode I thought oh maybe Greg Lawson's character Hank the mayor I thought maybe there's a little romance there and they sort of have a good chemistry and so then and then you know James Tupper's character comes in and I'm like okay what's going on there so I I love seeing uh, Nancy act opposite you know like in a romantic setting I, I think she's just She's great at that. Like she has that. Um, she's just she's a fantastic actress in general. But I think her ability to sort of play uh, romance and potential interest is so fun to see on camera. So I love it. Anytime, you know, anytime you see her <clears throat> playing opposite a potential partner, uh, I really enjoy it. So yeah, I think I think it's uh, super fun. Awesome, Tiara. Are we going to see more of James coming up? Uh, the, yes, I think. I think <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got one more vocab word. This one I also had never heard of. Um, Bo, what is mud bogging? Mud bogging is uh, well, it's it's driving a usually um, a vehicle of some sort through mud. It did look look pretty fun. Cash and Valeria's mud bogging adventure. It also looked really yeah. messy. What was filming that like? Uh, it was really fun. Unfortunately, um, we didn't get to do a lot of the the driving because for safety reasons. But we got to we got to rep around a little bit and and get a little muddy. Um, it was great. I used to do that a little bit as a kid as well up in Canada. So um, it was a little nostalgic. Nice, nice. Are there any other terms that we should be on the lookout or that you learned that you want to teach us right now before we uh, before we end class? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I feel like Bo Bo's good at these kind of things. Bo knows so many big words. Sometimes <laughs> he talks and I just zone out. <laughs> that's, a, that's a compliment. That's a, that's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, you know, you gotta, you gotta make, you gotta make, uh, gotta make hay when the sun shines. You know. Hey. Hey. Well, All right. Like black color through black. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Storm. That uh, is that is apt. Well, speaking of hay, you guys are working with a lot of horses. I want to give them a bit of a shout out. Are you working with the same horses regularly? Like, are there horses now that are kind of Tierra's horse for Missy and so on? Yeah, I, I had the same horse every time I was riding um, from the beginning of production till the end, which is cool because you kind of get to, you know, create a bond. What, what, what were the horses? The horses. Yeah, go ahead. What? Oh, no, I was just going to say that the horses are, are incredible. They're, yeah. they're, they're like, they stand still better than I can. And I mean, I have two thoroughbreds that are just wild. They're incredible. Yeah. Beautiful farm horses, too. Yeah. Great wranglers. The horse, the tra- yeah, the trainers, the wranglers. I mean, it was, yeah, they're, they're awesome. Yeah. What, what were they, what are their names so that we're all kind of looking out and cheering them on? My horse's name Cheer? is Lickin. What? Lickin. Lickin? Yep. Lickin? Lickin. Wow. Did Lickin have any favorite snacks? <laughs> there was one scene where when there's one scene in episode three where I'm sitting on the fence and Cash is on the bowl thing. <laughs> What's it called? The big bowl thing. <laughs> Um, and we were trying to get the horses to like, they were behind me. We were trying to get them to like look in the, dr- the same direction. So we would put um, food on the bed, like on the, wow, my brain is not working, on the um, fence this. behind me. And they would just like eat around me. But by the time we started rolling and the scene was going, they had eaten it all and turned around and didn't care anymore. <laughs> 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 One thing I learned about horses that I didn't actually know is some horses don't eat carrots or apples. You have to kind of train them. Really? I didn't know that. I thought I was like, eat this carrot, you dummy. And he wouldn't uh wouldn't eat it. What are the ones that don't eat carrots or apples eat? Grass. <laughs> That's it. They're just Yeah. Yeah. Just grass. All right. Well before we wrap up. I want to make sure we give everyone a really good tease for what's coming up on Sunday night. So, um, first of all, who is Hudson Cooper? What do people need to know about Hudson Cooper, Bo? Hudson Cooper is a force. He's a force <laughs> of nature and a um, a talented bull rider that should not be overlooked. Okay. Um, can you tell us whether, see what I did there? Uh, uh, there might be some drama happening at the ranch. Tyler, go ahead. Ah, what? Sorry. I was <laughs> Want to talk about the weather? This the is ranch. beautiful. I'd love to talk about the weather. It's sunny here. From but, the, but the weather at the ranch is this week. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So in this episode, it's a big, I mean, I don't think it's spoiling anything to say it's, it's, it's a rain episode. So there's a lot of there there's a lot of urgency going on at the ranch to uh, you know do a lot of ranch work necessary. Uh, otherwise, they're you know they're going to lose. Oh what what the oh, east? Sorry, my backdrop got covered up. I um, <laughs> sorry. This is this was my backdrop, and then this was also my backdrop. I didn't have a picture of Bo, so I had to just draw one. Um, I'll set them off. Oh, and that's Jake. I have pictures of all of them. It's not weird. Um, uh, everyone in the comments, please put your favorite of those three posters. We want to see, especially the drawing. Some real Matisse over here. <laughs> Indubitably. Uh, I, think, <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a great episode. I, I mean, it's, we, it's a, the tease would be a lot of conflict happens and it's, it's, uh, it's really exciting and a lot of sort of, a lot of stuff, a lot of tension that's been building. Uh, you might actually get to see, uh, some, uh, things sort of bubble over, come to a head. All right. And Tiara, anything from your, your piece of the pie on this? <laughs> you gotta bring it on. Well done. I love a callback. 
<laughs> yeah, I think, you know, it's it's a fun episode for Missy and Cash because they kind of step out of the ranch for a little bit and kind of explore something else. But, you know, it's interesting to see kind of what happens in kind of dynamics when they do come back, even though it's only been a day away. Um, there's a lot, like like Tyler said, there's a lot of things that kind of come up in this episode that I don't think people are expecting. Awesome. Well, on that note, thank you all for joining us. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Obviously, you want to make sure you tune in on Sunday, the 23rd, for the new episode of Ride on Hallmark Channel on nine at 9, 8 Central. And, of course, definitely be sure to tweet along with the hashtag Ride Hallmark. Bye. Thanks, Brianne. Bye. Thank Thanks, guys.